Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1187, make array strictly increasing. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, seeing the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given two input arrays, array 1 and array 2. So we need to make all the elements in the array 1 strictly increasing. So to make the array 1 strictly increasing, I can replace elements from array 2. So the goal of the problem is to find the minimum number of replacement that I need to make from array 2 to array 1 to make array 1 strictly increasing, right? So for example, assume my ith element is 5. So in this case, 5 is greater than 1. So here, 5 is greater than 1, right? So the left side of 5 is valid. So the after element of 5 should be greater than 5 to maintain the increasing order, right? But in this case, 3 is less than 5. So 5 is the invalid element in this position. So we need to replace 5 using an element from array 2. So we need to find an element that is greater than 1 and less than 5. For the, what is the first element here? So 3 is the first element that is valid in this position. So if I try to replace 3 here, so here 3 is greater than 1. So the increasing order is maintained here. But the i plus 1 element of 3 is 3, which is not strictly increasing, right? They are equal. So 3 is also an invalid element in this position, right? So we pick the next element that is greater than 1. So that is nothing but 2 here. So I need to replace 2 here. So the increasing order is still maintained in this window. Also, the i plus 1 element of 2, that is nothing but 3, which is an element that is greater than 2, right? So the increasing order is maintained here as well. So 2 will be a valid number in this position. So what if I try to put 4? If I put 4, still that particular condition fails, right? 4 is greater than 3. It is not increasing, right? So what we are going to do here is, we are going to sort the array 2. So in this way, I always pick the minimum element that is greater than the i-1 element, which will guarantee that there will be no clash between the ith element and the upcoming elements in the future. So we will use binary search to pick the minimum element that is greater than the i minus 1 element from the array 2, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we will create a hash table dp where we will initialize with negative 1 as key and value as 0, right? So here we are going to maintain minimum number of replacement required for each element in my array 1. So the element will be in key and the number of replacements required will be as values, right? Then I have sorted the array 2 here. So first I will pick the first element from the array 1, that is 1. This will be initialized to num1 variable. And also within the loop, I will initialize an empty hash map, new dp, right? So now I will pick the key from the dp, that is negative 1. Now, I need to check whether the num1 is greater than key. So in this case, it is greater than key, right? 1 is greater than negative 1. So when this condition is valid, I will take, I will check whether num1 exists in my new dp dictionary or not. So here num1 is not present in the new dictionary. So we will take infinity. Then I need to take the value of the given key in my original dictionary that is 0 then we need to take minimum between these two so we will be getting 0 right so now I need to update my new dictionary with key as the current num that is 1 then the value will be the value we found using the minimum function that is 0 right so 0 will be a value for 1 right then we will use binary search to locate where the key can be inserted in the array 2. 
so here negative 1 can be inserted in the zeroth index right so we pick that location 0 in my location variable then we need to check if the location is a valid location in the array 2 yes zeroth index is a valid location right when this is true we locate the element at the given location then we need to locate one in the new dictionary if that particular one is not created before we have to create that one since in this case one is already present there we don't have to create a new one so now we need to update the value here so first i will check whether is there any one is already present in the new dictionary or not yes one is already present right so we pick the value of one that is zero then we pick the value of key in my original dictionary that is zero right negative one's value is zero so we pick zero and then we need to take minimum between these two which is nothing but zero we have to just replace with zero so we need to update this zero right so in this case it's already zero we don't have to do anything here after that we need to make the new dictionary as my original dictionary so we just have to replace the original dictionary completely as my new dictionary which is nothing but one and zero so now we will reset the new dictionary then we need to pick the next element from the array one that is five so it will be our num one value then we will check all the keys in my original dictionary so in this case there is only one key so we pick one as my key then we need to check whether num1 is greater than key. Yes, it is greater, right? 5 is greater than 1. So we need to update our new dictionary. So here num1 is not present. That is 5 is not present in my new dictionary. So we pick infinity. Then we pick the value of the key that is 0. So the minimum between infinity and 0 is nothing but 0. So we update our new dictionary key as my current value that is 5 that is the current number so the value will be the value we just found now that is 0 then we need to find the location where the key can be inserted in the array 2 so here key is 1 so where 1 can be inserted in array 2 so here at 0th index there is already 1 so we cannot insert 1 there but we can insert 1 in the next index that is 1 so the location will be 1. So then we need to check whether the location 1 is less than the length of the array 2. So the length of the array 2 is 4 and 1 is my location which is less than the length of the array 2, right? So in this case, this is valid. When this is valid, we need to update our new dictionary again. So what we are going to do here is we are going to check whether I need to replace 5 or not using this location so basically we are going to check whether we need to replace 5 here or not so we are going to pick the value in the array 2 using the location that is in the first index in array 2 there is value 2 so we pick 2 so this 2 is not in my new dictionary so we will create a key as my 2 since there is no 2 previously in my dictionary that is in my new dictionary so we need to pick infinity then we need to pick the value of key which is nothing but 0 plus 1 so minimum between 1 and infinity is 1 so this one will be the value for my key 2 right so in the previous step uh, when i was checking for value one i forgot to add one in the particular stage but the answer is not going to change this will be the same right one and zero will be same since there was already one and zero was present in my previous stage so we would have picked zero only so the answer is not going to change here right then we need to replace my original dictionary as my new dictionary so if we keep on doing this we end up having in the last element as 1 as my value so we take minimum between all values right so we are going to get 1 for this particular input that's all the logic is now we will see the code
So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we will create our original dictionary where negative one will be key and value will be zero. Then we sort the array two, right? Then using a for loop, we will pick each and every element from the array one. And for each and every array one, we reset the new dictionary. Then using another for loop, we pick all the keys from my DP, that is the original dictionary. And we check whether the current element num1 is greater than the key. If this is true, then we need to update our new dictionary where we will initialize the num1 as my key. Then we need to check whether num1 is already in my new dictionary or not. If it is present, we pick the value of it. Else we pick infinity. Then we need to take the keys value in my original dictionary. Then we need to take minimum between both of them where that value will be updated as my value to my current element in my array one. Then we pick the location of the key where the key can be inserted in my array two. So to do the binary search, we are using bisect write library, right? Then we need to check whether the location is less than the length of the array two. If this is true, we need to update our new dictionary again. Then using the location, we pick the element from the array two. If that particular element is present in my new dictionary, we take the value of it, else it will be infinity. Then we need to take the value of the key in my original dictionary. Then we will add one to it. Then we need to take minimum between these two. This will be the value for the element that we picked from the array two using the location in my new dictionary, right? Then we completely replace the original DP, that is the original dictionary with my new dictionary. So if we can replace any of the values in the array one, we need to return the minimum values in my original dictionary. Else if we can't make the array one strictly increasing, we return negative one as my answer, right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.